Yeah. Got some on the list there if you'd look at it. But I'd rather much talk to the attorney since you guys don't want to talk about your FOIA request with me. If you're so, here at a public meeting, though. I'm not, I'm not going to have, and it's not for me. Okay. Have, we'll go with Amber then. We'll go with Amber then. We'll start with Amber then. Hold on, Amber. What are the uh, abatements that you guys, I must have missed it, or have you already done it, what abatements you're doing? I haven't done yet. Okay. Are you going to do 323 East New Street? Is that your place? Are you going to do 323 East New Street? Is that your place? Say, can I, can I, this is where we go. She knows what 323 East New Street is. 323 East New Street is, you know where it is, you know where it is, you know, all know where it is. It's in the alley back there. It's basically a, a junkyard back there. Larry Elston had it before, but Michelle Grubb to, uh, got it on a quick deed. And you go back there, there's a ton of cars back there, and for 14 years they've stayed it's outside the city limits. According, according, to, according to our flat book, it is in the county. Okay, I talked to the assessor, I talked to the surveyor, I talked to the planning commission, I looked on Beacon, and also they pay a water bill. So all that says, all them say that it's inside the city limits. So oh, why is well, why are three? Monsanto pays water bill. And they're outside the okay. city limits. But they they aren't inside the city limits on Beacon, and the surveyor's office isn't saying they're inside the city limits. They're saying 323 is New Street is. Again, go to Beacon, you'll see it's inside the city limits. That's the same excuse I've heard for 14 years. It's in, outside the city limits. Every every house along there is inside the city limits. There is 011 tax code. You refuse to abate those properties. So you might want to ask the attorney why, I mean, he could ask you or however you want to do it, why you don't abate that property. Then you've got three, or 203 East Sherman, which is her, uh, Ms. Garrity's property there. It's got a unplated, unregistered motor home. It, so, it has no plate on it. It's got it's sitting on two jacks. You got a golf cart sitting out in front of it. That's all busted up, broken up. So all I'm saying is why why does it take, uh, you know, you got people on the board that don't get abated, people that are relatives or friends that don't get abated. My relatives. I, did, get I, didn't even talk to, I didn't talk to you. But see what I'm saying, what I deal with? When you show them proof. I mean, I'm just saying this is my second town board meeting. I just got sworn in last month and for you to come up here and jump me and you're my neighbor. You haven't come down to discuss anything to say anything to me that you have an issue with it. The motorhome is on Google. The motorhome has been sitting there for two years. It was given to us by his grandfather. Right, I understand that. Right, so it's so inoperable. Like so, so no, I don't need to. That's part the town's responsibility to do that. Oh. That's your responsibility to do that. I don't have to tell you to do that. When, I, when somebody's requesting a bait, see, you're telling me it's been sitting there two years. I can look on Google Earth and see it there. So, I only lived here for two years. Well. It's sitting on Google Earth. I can look it up right now and see it on there. So you're saying, so what you're saying is, you are, are special. You don't need abated because it's been there two years. It's not a problem. It'll be done tomorrow. That's fine, but it's still inoperable. It's up on jack stands. Isn't that part of the drive down the alley? I just drove down there and saw jack stands in the front of it. We can resolve. You you made your accusation on that. That can be looked into be resolved. If you're only wanting to talk through, through me on this in an attempt rather than to avoid uh, a necessary argument on it, you have a concern about the, uh, uh, the New Street property. It can be looked into and we can get a final determination whether it is or in the city limits. So we also have a dispute over that. It can be it can be looked into. You're saying that it is. The town's saying it's not. We'll figure it out. Shannon, then, catch. Uh, if you can just give me a moment. Okay. And then, uh, so that can that can get figured out. And I understand that you're saying this has been a, apparently a 14 year dispute. This is the first, uh, uh, this may have been mentioned before, but I'm not, I can't recall offhand if it has or not. But you, you stated clearly what your issue is. So we'll look into it, it. We'll look into it and try to get a resolution so that we aren't circling back on this again. If there's an issue on, if there's an issue on Sherman Street, then we'll, uh, we'll address that. Also, again, we have differing uh, different views on what that is, and if there's an issue, then it can be then it can be addressed. If not, you've stated your complaint, and now the town can take their appropriate action from there. Okay. Well, Sh Shannon Casson told me that she would ask Denise to call her 
and she would enlighten her that it was. Well, I, I, Shannon Casson's the assessor. I understand that. Yeah, Let's, I, I, okay. I'm just saying, you know, uh, I, the who talked to who and who did what, I, you've, you've expressed what the issues are. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to assist both the board and yourself in the town in, tr in trying to resolve these issues in a timely fashion. You guys stopped me on the abatements last year. Oh, well, and that's another thing that he doesn't oh. understand. Okay, Graham Auto across the street with all the cars across. When they bait all these people in town here, and you look right across the street from the town hall and you see inoperable cars, and I understand Amber told me that they're on a tax sale now. But I called the uh, state, uh, not the state board of accounts, but the attorney general, and it's the, the sales uh, auto sales department, in which deals with uh, salvage yards. He hasn't had a permit to operate that salvage yard for quite some time. So he's not even operating a legal business. That's what I was told by the state attorney general. So again, you got all them cars that have been out there for years and he wasn't even having a license. You guys were allowing him to operate illegally, park cars that were inoperable, unplated, and you go around all over town and you pay, pull other people's cars out. You know, I'll, I'll follow the abatements. I've had two cars where you guys complained and, and you won't do it for other people. Can you explain that? Can you explain why he didn't have a, 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 license, or a permit to operate a salvage yard and you did nothing about it? How about you, Scott? This, again, you're, uh, you've made the issue, you've, you've raised the issue, it can be looked into and addressed from there. But if you're, ask, you're asking for an explanation for something that you are just broaching today. And if you're going to do that with each and everything, I can tell you what my answer will be. You're going to look into it. You, it's all going to be looked into. Right. Uh, anything's going to be looked into on it. Uh, from there. So okay. if, that, if that's the case, and again, if you've made the Attorney General aware, the Attorney General can investigate it and also look into it. That's part of what their responsibilities are as well. All right. Okay, let me see what else I got for you, Amber. Or the attorney. Uh, what's the loan payment for the police cars? That's part of the FOIA I requested. And you had $25,000 for two old police cars that you could have bought at auction for a couple thousand dollars. It says $25,000. also says on there for the, what was it, Amber? There was two different things on there we talked about. Uh, it was for Terry Cooper, his uh, leave time, which, you know, I was a federal employee, I understand, but that's all used up at a certain time. You use it or you lose it within a year. So I don't believe he had 20 some thousand dollars worth of um, money coming. So it had been 25 or $20,000 for two crappy police cars. Can just tell me what the money value is, what, what you paid for them. Well, it's uh, government transparency, you know. You paid $25,000 for police cars. Okay. Okay. It, uh, it was, uh, much cheaper than that. I think they were like, I can't remember right off hand without looking. I thought we, I thought we gave from. Um, Didn't we give like uh, 13000 for two of them? 13000 for two of them. So you gave Terry Cooper $12,000 in comp time? We're talking about police cars. I know, it says comp time and police cars on your ledger. It's listed at the same item. I'm asking a legitimate question. I just want to say, where's that money? Where did it go? 13000 Just show me the paperwork. I mean, that's all I'm asking. FOIA is a simple thing. I walk in, I walk into any place, and I ask the information. I'm just asking about the money. Jerry Cooper worked many hours that he didn't get paid for. So when he got ready to retire, he wanted all those hours paid. We had to borrow the money to pay Mr. Cooper his money. And the other part was for the cars. So most of that money went to Terry Cooper. So you had 12000 See, that's, that's all you have to do when you do it for you, but... It's because you're such an asshole. Wow. Denise, I, stop. I'm stop. Sick. Stop. I, you know, I walk in the door, and this is what I get when I ask for a simple FOIA request. It's I write down, I do everything they do, I, I, or ask of them. No, you don't. You, you're, you're actually great. I, I like dealing with you. But all this nonsense that I'm intimidating you, I'm doing all this stuff, I simply walk in the building and ask for a request. It's not that difficult. 
Amber, from day one, I know we, we butted heads, you know, on, on the beginning time, but you, you had a misunderstanding of it. And, you know, maybe I came across a little, you know, le legalistic to you. And that's the way I am. But I do that with every agency that I come into. And like I said, that day, I apologize to you that day if you took me wrong. Well, that's all recorded, and we can play the full recording if you like. Denise, we don't need to go down that. I'm trying to talk to Amber here and trying to talk like an adult. You're not an adult. Go ahead. Said that, um, we're partial to who we give abatement letters to at the board. We just don't get abatement letters. I had some letters I had to evict, and it left my place trashed. I mean, I had pictures of it, and I had to go to court with it. And I had a abatement letter from here. I had, I think it was two weeks or three weeks to get done. It cost me five thousand dollars to bring dumpsters in and get it taken care of. So, and I was on the board. So, the board members do get abatement letters. We're not trying to system. we're not trying to have no favoritism, and we're trying to do um, we're trying to get the place cleaned up. But we're trying to do it in a legal way. Okay. Well, like you know, it took uh, what did it take? Ten years to get that house taken care of next door, which I finally got hold of and got that dropped to the ground, and I'm working cleaning that up. But you know, and that's going to take time too. That you know. There's no way, it didn't happen overnight like that, and that's a lot of house to haul away. I probably hauled off about 50,000 pounds so far in, in that yellow trailer. But, you know, I just, I want my property values to go up. You know, I don't like when people get picked here and there, and that's what it looks like, and people believe that, especially when you have cars sitting out there across there, and then some, some person may have a car they I'm cherish. Very hard, but I am working on it. Uh, you're, I understand your situation, Denise, and that's a terrible situation to be in. And, and you know, you know, I, it's going to your your property needs to be. You know, you got to have you got to have time. You know, I have no problem with that. You know, but what I'm saying is, from the get go, and whether you were here or not, what happened when they had that illegal burn? And I'm not going to go to the history of it. I just want to talk to the points. I'm not even going to talk about Brumley. I'm not going to talk about all that stuff, that, that the issues with him. I just want to get my FOIA request and the issues resolved and the questions that I have, you know. Uh, here's one question I have, and I'll be done pretty much because I don't want to upset her anymore. But uh, since the 2010 and 2011 Indiana State Board of Accounts audit in which the town requested was requested to pay, repay $19,259, had issues of faulty bookkeeping and disarrayed ordinances. What has the council or you done to fix the ordinances in this seven to eight year time frame? See, that's, before you answer it, see, that's why I'm saying, you were talking about digitizing ordinances. All those ordinances, I'd be glad to come in and help you. I got no, time. That, that's not yours to, it's not yours to do. I understand there is issues that need to be resolved here with regard to the ordinances that has been a thing to discuss. This is a small town, and maybe even the, what these folks are doing might be able to help out with that in the, yeah. in the long run. I don't know, but again, it's another thing that uh, what has been done, I, you're looking at me for the answer, I've been here since June. Yeah. I can't sit there and say what was done in, from 2010 through 2017. Are there things that can be approved upon on there? Yes, but as council, I, it's not my responsibility to make anybody do anything. The council is aware that things need to be worked out on, uh, on there, but it's also a, a, a part of it is, is a time, effort, expense issue that needs to be a, a, a addressed as well. And it's something that it, that's, will hopefully get resolved sooner than later. And, I know, and yeah, this town has several issues going back to the past, but I'm not, I, 
I'm going to hazard a guess that none of these members, none of the members of the board, or anybody that's sitting here at this table, was part of that board in 2010 or was uh, going forward. I don't know when everybody jumped no, in exactly. We were. So, weren't you here, McQuiston? But, but sit there. You were. So, I, so you're asking for the council to, in turn, to speak on other people's actions, and there, and some of these issues are quite apparent. There was, you know, there was a state audit and issues with regard to certain things. We've been honest before. Some of this is already out front and is available even online uh, from that from the state point. But, you know, what actually been done, I could probably say that more needs to be done, and the, the town can look into that. But again, it's stuff that's got to be looked into and addressed. I, I don't know that you can get your exact answer, because the, the, the way you're framing these questions is that you want a response and an answer to your question, and what I can say it needs to be looked into and it can be addressed, and that's and, and, and we'd have to figure out when that can be addressed. So, what you're saying, in eight years they couldn't photocopy a, a book? Sir, I'm not... That's what you're saying. You, you'll look into it, you'll look into it, you'll look into it, you'll look into it, you'll look into it. You're putting words into my mouth. I'm saying that I, I'm saying that as you're asking that question right now, this is the first time that you presented that question here since I have been, since I've been the town attorney, is that I can't answer, I can't speak for what prior, what prior council did, what prior town council did, what their prior attorneys did, what actions have been taken from there. You're asking me to, to relay a past that I have no, uh, no information on. I am ignorant on. Has that. any That's one of these work. council members even tried to organize the books? I mean, have you? I, just, I'm just asking. I'm not trying to be mean. Yeah, trying to organize your ordinances. Try to photocopy them. Put, put a book out in the lobby so you don't have these issues with me that you say you have issues. When I walk in, I fill out a form and hand it to you, and then you hand it off to the attorney. When you hand it off to him, he's going to charge you for that. You know that? What are you asking for? The ordinance is to be organized and photocopied where a copy is out there for the public, for the citizens to see, so they know the very ordinances that I know. I know them. I've, you know, I know the ordinance, but I want copies out there. There's, there's a book or two books in there with ordinances in There's two. I've looked okay. I've only been here a month. Now, yeah, if you uh, want, to, want to come up here, and go sit in that little room where, uh, beside Scott's office and look at it, look at the ordinances. That's fine and dandy, I don't care, but somebody will be in there while you're looking at them. Would you like to be in there with me? Well, uh, we're not really that close. Not that close. <laughs> uh, but, uh, That's the whole issue. Is yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, come up, I'll come up one day, but I ain't going to make a ha habit of doing it every time you want to look at something. Then make copies of them and put them aside. That's oh, all. It's a simple to thing to do. Said, now the full time, we'll address it, and, and I will talk with the council and work on addressing that quickly for you so that, so that we do not have to revisit this issue. Right, and and all the FOIAs that I gave you, or that she transferred so, over so to you, are we're, you? We're, we're working again. You 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 gave, as I mentioned before, it's also a, a matter of time, effort, resources, money, and there's a lot of requests, including one that I'm not certain that you have that you're entitled to actually. Which one is that? Because I don't. You're asking for personal bills for one pro uh, one property. No, no, no. What I was asking for was information whether it had a water bill and Amber well, or not, Amber or. What you need to understand is that's not the way that's not the way I interpret it from, from reviewing it, and I was looking into that. Amber already supplied that information, like I just notified you guys when you guys were saying it was outside the city limits, and like I said, when you when you make a statement like that against what the assessor says, the surveyor, the planning commission, the Beacon Corporation, <laughs> you make yourself look not where you should all, be. All, um, all your, but again, you stated your position. And if you're saying that the assessor's saying this, then we can look into it, look into it further. The town's held firm on their position. We've got differing views. So we look into it. And if it, if it's the case that it's supposed to be something done there, then it, then it can be addressed. And but, uh, I mean, we're just re we're now revisiting. Okay. So we've already said that'll all be looked into. Uh, you, you've expressed your, you've expressed your points. I'll leave, I've got notes on each and everything that you want addressed and we'll attempt to address those in the timely as possible. Can I ask him one question? Go ahead, sir, yes, go ahead. I, 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 the other thing, if you're, if you're wanting to have a conversation with an individual 
then that's time you can have that conversation outside of the scope. No, it's for the whole board. It's for the board. But they could probably, point, well, he's the law enforcement officer. Go ahead, and, Cubby. And as far as uh, the property there on New Street, Mr. Grubb informed me that he was also in the county. So. And he's 011 tax code also. So, That's Windfall uh, City Tax Code. You know, it's been like this for years. One time they get taxed though they're in the county. Next time, next year they might be in the city. And that's the way it's been. Okay? So, uh, I, and just like, just like out here, we're, we're going to, uh, street's going to be repaved there on Cemetery Street. Okay? We're going to, uh, if I remember correctly, we're going to start there at the corner on Cemetery Street, and we'll go all the way down to where Durex used to be, the building for Pierce's own. Okay? We don't have, and I talked to uh, the county highway the head man over there and uh, see if he would go in and split, maybe split it with us, because that is also in the county. Once you get past, once you get past that alley behind Denise's son's house. Right, right you can see that, down. you can see it on Beacon, right, it's a zero one zero. It's, so, it's simple, zero one zero and then zero one one is but, uh, windfall. You know, if they're, if they're changing, like Larry and Mr. Grubb said they have been, you know, one year they'd be in the county, next year they're not, you know. I don't know what, uh, well, here's the other the thing. Counties, the counties and one should have to take care of that because we don't know from one year to the next if they're in the county or in the city. Well, if they're, if they're not in the, in the city, why do you plow the street too? But, yeah, I know they have. but here's the other thing. Let's say for instance, he is in the city. Why he's $1,500 in the hole in taxes. So he's not even paying the city taxes. And you guys aren't obeying him when you know he's a zero eleven. He's not paying. He's not paying his taxes. That's what the recorder said. Well, if he wasn't paying his taxes, his, his property property would be. Cool. Well, him. yeah, it, it could go that route. But they said and he's fifteen hundred in a hole. Hadn't been on the, the tax roll. I only go by what they say. Yeah. You know, and but again, it, again, boils down to the, the, your position, our position, which still needs to be looked into. Uh, and, and so, if there's an issue on the taxes, then it can get addressed if there once there is clarity on on whether this is town uh, town property or within the city limits or not in the city limits. Uh, uh, you know, but we can talk to the minutia of various things that uh, that are all that can all possibly be addressed by. The, uh, dealing with the larger issue, but that's going to take something that's not going to be able to occur right now. I can't, uh, I can't make certain phone calls at the moment and figure everything out and get clarity on it. Let me ask you a question and before I go on to the next one. Um, do you find it, with me putting forth all this information,